Hi, I'm Jerry Devlin and I'm in sunny Philadelphia on a beautiful September day, Washington Square Park. And I want to share with everybody out there, one of my true loves, a Padilla. This baby is grown in Nicaragua. It's a Puro. It's 100% Nicaraguan leaf and filler. And uh, I don't know if you, the camera can zero in on this, but you can see the veins. They're charcoal. It's a charcoal burnt Maduro. An excellent cigar, an excellent uh, smoke. And I want to show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to cut this baby and we're going to get started. One of the things I enjoy about a torpedo cigar is the draw. It's, it burns evenly at the end, but there's a lot of power packed into the mouth. Nice even clip. Has a bit of a chocolatey flavor. All right, that should start it. It has a bit of a spicy flavor texture when you first start it. be a good cigar to have with a cup of coffee. It has a bit of a coffee flavor to it. It's full bodied, a lot of taste, packs a lot of pow with it. I know we're just getting started, but it looks like it's going to burn even. My experience with this is that they do burn even, and let's see if this holds up to the past. Right in the center of a lot of history, last night across the street, Muhammad Ali received the Freedom Award for contributions to uh, power and freedom and liberty, celebrating the tenets of the Constitution. One thing they didn't say, but I would have said if I was there, the freedom to smoke cigars. I have been at this baby for about 10 minutes now, and as you can see, the ash is burning very evenly. I haven't even taken any of the ash off yet, and it's just a nice, slow, even burn. And uh, I mentioned that I wish I had a cup of coffee when I first lit up. Now I wish I had a glass of Marlowe. A glass of red wine would go perfect with where it's at right now. The, it's, it's a very complex cigar. It changes you, it changes flavors. It sits on your palate as uh, spice and oriental spice in the beginning and then it becomes more sophisticated as it goes on and like I say the glass of Marlowe would be perfect with it right about now. We're in the final flight of our tour of this cigar and Padilla has been a real pleasure today. Uh, I wish I had a cognac, uh, that'll have to wait, but uh, I fully recommend this full cigar to you. It delivers a full impact taste, a nice draw, a nice even burn, and on a beautiful day in Philadelphia, you wouldn't want to spend it any other way. I'm glad I had the opportunity to share this with you, and I look forward to sharing in my next selection with you. Take care.